racers for the featured ninth race are on the track. The Independence Pace carrying a purse of $20,000. A trophy presentation will follow this event. Once again, coming on to the track, for those of you who may have joined us late, is the power prompter invented by well-known horseman Bruce Nichols. It's a 1976 Fiat with Art E. Fischel in the hood. These are the Pacers for the featured ninth race. Number one, Rambling Willie. The driver is Bob Farrington. Rambling Willie is owned by the V. Farrington Stables, Richwood and uh, P. Seibert. Number two, Adio Skipper. Owned by Albert Betty. The driver is Jerry Buckmeyer. Number three, Momentum. Owned by the Big Little Stable Incorporated, the Swing Stable, and the driver is Dale Ross. Number four, Osborne's Brett. Owned by the Osborne Farms, the driver is Tom Brinkerhoff. Number five, Young Quinn. Under lease to the Bain Stables, the driver is Charles Hunter. Number six, Bullet Bluecrest. Owned by the Odd Lots Incorporated, driven by Bruce Regal. Number seven, Pickwick Baron. Owned by Leo A. Sunlin, the driver is Mel Turcott. Seven of the fastest pacers in the nation. Track record, one minute, 57, two Skipper goes for the lead. Momentum alongside second. Rambling Willie on the inside. Third Pickwick Baron on the outside. Of fourth. Osborne's Brett fifth. Bullet Bluecrest is sixth. And Young Quinn is seventh. Around the far turn. Momentum on the inside. Leads by a half length. Pickwick Baron on the outside. Second and going up. Adio Skipper along the rail. Third. Rambling Willie fourth. They're by the quarter at 28 seconds flat. They come by the stands the first time with Pickwick Baron now in front by a length. Rambling Willie moves to the outside, a challenge for the lead. That's Rambling Willie getting the lead now by three parts of a length. Pickwick Baron along the inside, second. Momentum, third. Adio Skipper, fourth. Osborne's Brett swings to the outside, fifth. Bullet Bluecrest is sixth. Young Quinn is seventh. They're by the half in 57 and three-fifths seconds. Along the back stretch, Rambling Willie in front by a length. Pickwick Baron second. Momentum on the outside, third and going up. Along the back stretch, Momentum gets the lead by three parts of a length. Rambling Willie now second uh, uh, with Pickwick Baron third. Adios Skipper fourth. 
Osborne's bred on the outside, fifth. Bullet Blue Crest is sixth. Young Quinn, seventh. Three quarters, 126 and a fifth. The track record is 157 and two. Around at far turn. That's momentum. In front by a length and a half. Rambling Willie is second. They straighten up and drive for the wire. Remember, the track record is 157 and two. Momentum on the inside. Rambling Willie, Pickwick Barron, Adio Skipper. They're all going for the lead. They're all heads apart for the lead. Finishing first, number seven, Pickwick Barron. Judges will examine another photograph to determine the place and show finishers. And here comes the... We just received the information that the mark of 156 is a world record for an aged stallion. A 5 8 mile track. He clipped a second off the old record, which was held by Invincible Shadow. 156 and 1. 156 flat. Fastest time ever at Scioto Downs. And a world record for an age stallion on a 5 8 mile track. Finishing second. Number one, Rambling Willie. Third, number two, Adios Skipper. Result. Of the ninth race, official. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the track. There to participate in the presentation ceremonies are President of Scioto Downs, Mr. Charles D. Hill. His lovely wife, Mrs. Charles D. Hill. Executive Director, Bob Steele. Director of Racing, Jim Ewart. And the owner of Pickwick Baron, Mr. Leo A. Senlin. They're all presenting the trophy to Mr. Senlin and to Mr. Turcott for the remarkable performance this afternoon here at Scioto Downs and not only in winning the feature race but marking a new lifetime mark here at Scioto Downs of 1 minute 56 seconds flat and setting a world record for an age stallion on a 5 8 mile track. This has got the greatest $20,000 race we ever saw in our lives. Five of them on the wire. And Pickwick Barron came out on top. Ladies and gentlemen, Milt Turcott and Pickwick Barron.